talking about dead stuff. So, I have had a lot of people on Instagram ask me the process that I use to clean the bones that I use for my jewelry. Like all these little guys down here. All these little guys. So I figured, why not make a video? So this will be a quick rundown of how I actually get my bones and the process that I use to clean them. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. So I typically work with mouse bones that I find in owl pellets, which I actually order through eBay. And first things first, they usually come wrapped in these little foil balls. And I always have a pair of tweezers handy, ready to pick out the fur from the bones. So this is kind of the overall look of what you're going to be dealing with. You're going to tear the out pellet apart and get the bones from inside. Like right there I can see that there's a skull that's pretty visible from the surface. So I try to work it out with my hands at first and then if I need to I go in with the tweezers to pick out any extra stuff. But you, It's a very delicate process. You want to make sure you don't break any of the bones because they are very brittle. And owl pellets are basically balls of owl puke. Just fun fact so that you know that. Um, it's like a big hairball and they throw up all the bones with it. So obviously the jaws are typically not attached and sometimes you can find them all nicely still together and if I can I'll reconstruct the skull later. Some stay together better than others but typically if there's any broken pieces I'll just take those off and I try to keep it as intact as possible. So for this next part, this is the cleaning solution I use. I use some hydrogen peroxide and water. So just water from the tap is fine. I have all the bones that are still kind of filthy that have fur on them. I put them all in the bowl. I do about one third of the peroxide solution. I put that in first and then I fill the rest with water. I give it a good stir so that it's all mixed together and it needs to be in an airtight container. So this, I actually keep the bones separate if there's like a skull piece that I want to rebuild, that way the bones don't get mixed up. Same deal, hydrogen peroxide, water, quick stir, and then I let them sit on my desk and I leave them there, depending on how dirty the bones are, typically a day or two, but this is what they'll look like after a couple days. If they're still dirty, I'll put them in another wash, so two or three washes. But once I take them out, there's still going to be little wet clumps of fur on them, so I'll take those off with my fingers and a toothpick and just kind of work those off um, so that they'll be nice and clean. Obviously you have to get in the nose cavities, which is <laughs> not so pretty, but definitely necessary. And the bones will look yellow when they come out of the water. So don't be discouraged. They are fairly clean. Like, as you can see here, they're going to have a little yellow tint. But once the air gets to them and they dry fully, they're going to be a lot whiter like this one over here. So definitely not something to worry about. You can see the difference here. And it's going to take some time for them to dry. This is one of the ones that I've painted, and you can kind of see the final product. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.